Welcome back to what is hopefully the final episode of Mar Let's Play Marvel Ultimate Alliance, because I'm getting kind of tired of it. So when we last left off, we're going to challenge Doom, but with whom? With Doom, of course! With Doom. Darker Hammer, blah blah blah. But let's make it as slightly canonical. We're going to make him as Kristoff. That one guy who pretended to be Doom. And we'll have the Rogues Gallery. Venom. Rogues Gallery. Rogues Gallery. And now we are ready to challenge Doom to a get battle to the death. But first we're going to pick up all those nice upgrades he was kind enough to leave us. Here's Invisible Woman with her creepy eyes again. I concur. I thought that was a villain for a second. Dr. Doom game plus one to body. But I'm a god, I don't need this. Very well. Don't be don't get smug with me, Magneto. I could kill you anytime I want. I could throw you off a ledge and you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. And sometimes you throw it off yourself because you're an idiot. Now Sabretooth. Pretty stupid ripoff of Wolverine. Whatever. Get out of the way, you jackasses! I hate it when they- that you can't walk Pat through them, like in Left 4 Dead. They should make that a th feature in the third game if they make one. And finally, it's time to- Why isn't our health at max? Ah, uh, stupid shield points. Anyway, let's go challenge Doom and get this game over with. And there he is, shooting blue energy out of his hands, even though the energy he does have around his hands is actually green. And there he is. Finally, face to face with myself. This is most unusual. This fellow appears to be much more than... Do not insult me! Do you not recognize yourself? Your future self? I now have the power to make... I am aware of the power you have now in your... Oh, dear, with grief. And how would you quantify the risk of nullifying our many? And they argue like little bitches. This is the perfect universe without it. How can you stand that? I am not about to give up the power of Odin. It would seem that. And he created of some evil Fantastic Four clones. And more momentum attacks. These guys are jackasses. Hopefully I won't die during this, because that would be embarrassing. And Mr. Fantastic does that a lot. Just like our Mr. Fantastic, except he's somewhat more powerful. Get the hell off me. Oh wait, I should I have upgrades for him. And for you as well. Don't stop having a seizure, Venom. We have work to do. This ain't no way to win a fight. And so this doom in this universe is for our future self. Something they just pulled out their ass at the last minute to explain the reason why you can play as Doom and fight Doom at the same time. And if we go too close to him, he sh sh emits a shockwave because he's an asshole. And there goes Mr. Fantastic, finally killing our nemesis. Ow, don't you energy wave me, Miss Lady. Invisible Lady.
And we have one more to kill. The, the annoying one, Johnny Storm. I think that's his name. Ow. So and he's dead. You had I've had that. And now he blah blah blah. Now he rises up and is going to destroy us. I got or he just stands there and covers himself like a shield, like a little bitch. Very well. Let's play Saber Tooth. I would feel like meleeing people. Ow, don't you hit hit Every time we destroy one of these shield generators, he spawns more of these little bitches. Oh, will you frickin' die already? Cunt. If you say web swing. Venom style. Sorry, that just came out of nowhere. And there's Johnny Storm again. Symbiote Flail. That's meant for multiple enemies, but it works surprisingly well against a single enemy as well. What's wrong? Feeling a little burnt out? Symbiote Claw! A s scratch your eyes out, Johnny Storm. Venom- did Venom even fight the Fantastic Four? I think the superior Venom did, but not the regular one. For those who don't know, uh, superior Venom is when sp the superior Spider-Man took the Venom symbiote, or whatever the hell it's called. Ow. Shockwave. Uh, that clap attack is so annoying. When well, it's being used against us, that is. Yeah, fuck off. Thing. I might have to split this into another part, actually. But believe it or not, there's some stuff after the credits. See how easily they fall. And we're just sitting here beating the crap out of fake Fantastic Fours while Doom just sits up there like a moron. Losing track. It's like it's from probably from Dynasty Warriors Gundam. It's very easy to lose track of people in that game underneath waves and hordes of other less power. Will you take die already? Stupid stubborn lady. And we don't give a crap about this last one, so we're just going to steal Doom's power with Doom. We have to mash the button as fast as possible, and well, it was much harder on the harder difficulty. Now we have part of his power. And now we are godlike too, because we can smash these bastards again across the room. Ow. Well that well we're protected from that lightning attack, we aren't protected from the green lightning attack. Ow. Get the hell off. So now we have to kill Doom, and he keeps floss flinging us across the room, making it very difficult, and these little bitches keep attacking us. Ow! Ow! Ah. Whenever I let's play a game, I start hating that game. Will you get up already? Jesus. If, but if we do manage to get him in a corner, we can pummel him. Senselessly. That thing is his best power, Magneto's power. That's this thing. I can't believe I was foolish enough to believe that, because it sucks. Although, to be fair, Shockwave isn't that great either. Then be on Sludge. Very well. Get your ass in that corner, Doom. Ow. I dodged that. Bullcrap, I dodged that. As you wish. Ah, 
Ah, uh, you can't hit me, I'm in a shield that doesn't do crap. And there he goes. I'm all grizzled. Fools. You've accomplished nothing. And he loses his power. Doom. And we can see his eyes. You can't be free. Your wretched scheme is... Oh, don't go to an upskirt shot. No one wants to see an upskirt doom. Is mine. No! And zappy zap. Suffering is the fate of those who challenge... And this is why he's absent in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. And his face mask is laying there all charred. And we're finally back on the helicarrier. And if you look in the background... You hold on. Not there yet. Thor, yet. There. Odin. See, they haven't even repaired it yet, for crying out loud. It takes five uh, fucking years to repair. Jeez, Colonel Fury. It's these Taros, even though they weren't the ones who defeated Let's Doom. He's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. Nice hair, Fury. But... With the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. Why? The task force did so much. <laughs> You're a punk, Fury. I thought Wolverine liked Fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you... Fix those bloody glass windshields, you cheap again. fuck. Shield, count on your help. A nice mask, Captain America. The world can count on us, sir. And we zoom out to the peaceful world. Such insignificant creatures. Uh -oh. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. And that would have made a great storyline for the second game, but no, they just ma explained that Thor punched Galactus in the face, and that was it. In a single conversation. And Nuatu says is going to tell us all of all the good things we've done. Your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Well, actually, I could imagine them because I've beaten this game 20 times, and I don't think I'm going to play again for a long time because of this. Ah, my eyes! Ah, I'm getting a seizure. Nope. He tells us in comic book format. You chose wisely in saving the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the legacy virus. Surely if that computer was destroyed, they could have researched the legacy virus somewhere else. That information will lead to a cure and stop the plague. With one random act of bravery, you saved the entire mutant race. Ow, that needle's dug really deep in his arm, jeez. And there's Nightcrawler in the background, along with what looked like a female Cyclops. What the hell was that? You showed true courage. In Namor's a backstabbing jackass in the comics. He switches sides a bunch. Atlantis. Nice speedo, by the way. Namor will grow to trust surface dwellers. And in time, he will aid in the formation of a worldwide organization of superheroes. Notice the Illuminati, where he backstab betrays them and forms Cabal. Many dangers. That yes, that happens in the comics. Has destroyed it. There's Captain Britain in the background. And now it's Senator Kelly, and you get to see his hideous face. To rescue Senator Kelly, a known detractor of mutants. Yeah, yeah murder world. There's Pitfall. The will successfully sponsor the mutant. And there he is. <laughs> what the hell did his face get crushed by an anvil? For schools like Professor Xavier's, these schools will prove to be very effective in training young mutants in how to control their powers. Mutants forever. I have, I doubt you'd ever see that in the Marvel comics. Oh, and here's the bad thing. It was most unfortunate that you were unable to rescue Jean Grey in Mephisto's realm. Or she does not die in the Infinity War. Even though Hank Pym told us she would die. Instead, she returns to Earth in the form of the Dark Phoenix to take vengeance upon those who did not save her. Fortunately, the good thing is we can bring her back in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, so that this doesn't happen. You were 
were wise to locate the sword, sword of the Valkyrie. With her aid, and she doesn't have a sword in that picture. She uses a spear. Why doesn't she just use that? It's going through her cave. See, it's a phase through spear. That would be great. Mischief in chains, Ragnarok. The end of the Asgardian dimension never comes to pass. This is the longest ending sequence ever. It was more and now we go to the old prune face woman we encountered in Asgard. This pleases the Asgardian prophetess such that, in years to come, she will warn Odin of an attempt on his life. This will lead to the capture of the villainous fire demon, Surtur. Yeah, never seen him before. And now it's the Shi'ar Empire, who we, which had two power cores for some reason. And there's Lalandra with her giant headdress. In time, the Shi'ar will give Earth advanced technology that will wipe out all disease and hunger. Eventually... If it can wipe all disease, why do we have to save the legacy virus cure thing? colonize other planets. And it's the Shi'ar. No, nope, not the Shi'ar, the Skrull. ...on saving the Skrull planet from destruction. Soon, the Skrull will form a tentative partnership with Earth. Shortly after that, the Skrull will come to the aid of Earth when the Kree threaten to enslave humanity. Yeah, I'd like to see that happen. I doubt that ever will in the comics. It was most wise of you to save Odin from his confinement in Castle Doom. In the near future, the mighty Thanos will seek to conquer Earth. Ooh, Thanos, he would make a good Odin villain for another game. My Thor's father will save the human race from enslavement. Well, what about- oh, I think the Avengers would be able to stop him too. And finally, the ultimate nullifier. You are to be congratulated for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier at Castle Doom. One day soon, Mephisto will seek to conquer our dimension, but Reed Richards will repair the Ultimate Nullifier and use it to stop the vile creature before all is lost. And there goes Mephisto. And Reed Richards was wearing a tight spandex thing. Was created by you? No. That it can I don't want to alter it. I like it the way it is. Don't tell me to alter it. For you are a hero, and your every action... And he doesn't even appear in the second game. We don't even have any of this cool aftermath stuff in the second game, which is something else they squandered. There are flashes of blue and red. Ah, my eyes! I'm blind! And here's the credits. Now, we, normally there's like this uh, comedy track of everyone in the audio studios, and at the very end of it, the weasel calls Dot Black Widow and says he has Colonel Fury's brain waves, and that she, and he downloaded them to her laptop, and then Black Widow says he needs to take a fall and he's captured by things, proving she was a mole. I'm serious, that happens. Get the game yourself and get through it. No, I don't want to save this crap. I don't want to play through this. I have higher level characters. And then we go right back to Doom's thing. Yep, Doom's Throne. And there's a shield point here, and we've finished our last objective. And I'm not gonna bother saving it, because I'm not playing this profile again. So, what game will we play next? Well, we'll figure that out when we come to it then. So until then, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. And remember, don't put Luke Cage in your team, he'll just fall off into space.